Devin Haney and they got Shakur Stevens. So Shakur, then they need to fight each other. Just don't worry about Tank. As long as Tank with Floyd and Al, Tank gonna always live good. So in the past, the MJ of boxing, Floyd Mayweather, told both Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney, don't worry about Javante Davis, Shakur and Devin need to go ahead and fight each other, since they both on ESPN and top rank, the same side of the street, aka the same network. Here is exactly what Floyd Mayweather had to say. Check it out. Um, Shakur Stevens, we talked about something, and um, we talked about something the other day that was real important what he what he spoke about and I take my hat off to him for what he spoke about you know very very humble uh kid hell of a fighter um I'm gonna call him a gold medalist in the Olympics um but the fight could have went either way but you know it's all about professional fighting but what what, what Shakur talked about is this in today's uh state of boxing like, why does, like, the undefeated, like, being undefeated, why does that matter so much? Like, nobody can, nobody feel comfortable taking a loss like this, you know? I think um, it's Floyd Mayweather. Like, it's the Floyd Mayweather era, so I think, like, with the boxing, everybody want to be Floyd so bad that they scared to take certain risks. They be scared to be in the ring with somebody that they feel as though got a chance of beating them, so they rather fight the person that easy to beat, so I think like with boxing, boxing now, everybody want to be Floyd. Instead of being like the era where like the Sugar Ray Leonard, the Tommy Hearns, where they all fought each other and they beat each other a couple of times, and they still was the greatest of that era. Everybody want to live the Floyd Mayweather era, which I'm not against, because I love that these fighters are able to want to be like Floyd Mayweather or even want to surpass Floyd Mayweather. But I fought everybody in my era who I needed to who I needed to fight. And fighters are so worried about losing. I'm here to let everybody know as a, as an amateur, I lost fights. You know, you live and you learn. Does that still mean I'm not great? I lost. Listen, winning and losing is a part is a part of competing against the best. As a professional, I didn't lose. But you know, sometimes things just happen, but I need these fighters. Uh, we want to make the big, we, we want to make the, I feel like the biggest and, a, and a, the biggest and the best should fight each other. No different from what I did. And the lightweight division got so many great, so much talent. Um, Devin Haney and Shakur Stevens. That's a great matchup. Um, now, I'm going to leave a link for the full interview in the description box below. But you guys heard it from the GOAT, TBE himself, Floyd. He told both Shakur and Devin Haney to go ahead and fight each other first before fighting Javante Davis. Perhaps Floyd wants the winner to face Javante. However, recently it was reported that Shakur Stevenson turned down a Devin Haney undisputed fight because he felt like he deserved more money after Devin Haney sent him a 75 to 25 split to fight for undisputed not one belt but all of the belts recently Shakur told Devin Haney five minutes ago send a real offer let's get active champ and Devin Haney responded with quote sign the contract Devin Haney put a quote on it because he was quoting what Shakur Stevenson has said when they were at the same party. Shakur sent bottles over with a sign that said, sign the contract. Now it's time for Shakur to take his own advice. See, what I can't comprehend is if Shakur wants more money or a bigger split, there's nothing wrong with that. But why is he negotiating on Twitter? This is why they have lawyers. According to Shakur, Devin Haney sent him an offer. What Shakur should have done is send a counter offer. You go low, I go high, and you negotiate the fight. That's how negotiations work. But for Shakur to negotiate on Twitter without even letting the public know what percentage he wants, that's not it. That's not how negotiations work. Shakur said on Twitter, send a real offer to Devin Haney instead of his own team behind closed doors, sending a counter offer to Team Devin Haney. 
To make matters worse, according to my inside sources, top rank told Team Haney when it came to the Shakur Stevenson fight, let's look at other options. Shakur Stevenson team not interested. Which contradicts what Shakur Stevenson is saying on Twitter. Therefore, if Shakur wants more money or a bigger percentage, however, he's not negotiating the fight behind the scenes, nor he's activating his mandatory position like he promised us he would in order to get a bigger percentage split on the purse bid, then he really doesn't want the fight because if he did, he would have done both negotiate behind the scenes and activate his mandatory position. But clearly Shakur did neither or, which only could mean one thing. Shakur, for some odd reason, doesn't want the fight at the moment in time. I think Shakur was probably banking on Devin Haney moving up in weight because he kept saying that, that Devin is going to move up. I'm hearing that Devin Haney is moving up in weight, so we're going to fight down the line. Perhaps Shakur wants to build the fight till the fight is bigger, but if that's the case, that's what he should have said instead of calling out Devin Haney because I told you guys, one thing about Devin Haney, he is going to catch your bluff if you are bluffing. That's what happened to Gary Russell, Tiafama Lopez, Ryan Garcia, and the list goes on and on and on. Now it was Shakur Stevenson's turn. Devin Haney sent Shakur an offer, but Shakur Stevenson ended up rejecting the fight. And as far as the money situation, if Shakur didn't like the split, he would have been activated his mandatory, which is something he clearly didn't do. What you guys have to put in perspective is that Devin Haney is the undisputed champion. He has all of the titles. Shakur is not challenging Devin for one title, but for all of the titles. In addition to that, Devin Haney is the bigger name. He makes way more money than Shakur. He sells way more tickets. He's way more popular. And then when you add the belts to the equation, it's case closed. The 75 to 25% split seems fair, the reason why Devin Haney has to pay 12% to the section and bodies. Therefore, it's really a 65 to 25% split after you factor in all of the section and fees. See, Devin Haney has to pay 12% for undisputed to the section and bodies while Shakur, because he's only the mandatory and he has no title, he doesn't have to pay any section and fees. So a 65 to 25% split is fair for Shakur to fight for undisputed all of the belts one time and like I said if Shakur really felt like he worth more then he should have activated his mandatory to take the fight to purse bid where the purse split will be the ratio average of the fighters last three salaries with the facts being laid out Shakur Stevenson let it be known that the fights he wants next are Javante Davis and Devin Haney he prefers Javante, but if he can't get Javante, then he wants Devin Haney. Now, if Shakur is not going to accept a 75 to 25% split against Devin Haney, what does he think Javante is going to offer him at the moment in time? I mean, really, Shakur is not going to get any better offer from Javante. You guys heard what Floyd Mayweather told Shakur and Devin Haney fight each other don't worry about Javante so don't expect any better offer coming from Javante for Shakur Stevenson in fact Shakur may get an 80-20 split to fight Javante and if he does if he receives an 80-20 75-25 or 70-30 split to fight Javante well Shakur Stevenson also turned down the Javante fight like he turned down the Devin Haney undisputed fight that's the million dollar question. You see, if Shakur is expecting any better offer from Javante, then he better think again. Better yet, he better fight Devin Haney for undisputed in order to put himself in position to leverage more money from Javante Davis. That's the only way Shakur can leverage more money in negotiations with Javante, which is ultimately the fight that Shakur really wants. How will Shakur get there and make the money that he wants? He has to put himself in position by fighting Devin Haney first to become undisputed, where he's not going to be denied. 
But if Shakur feels like Devin Haney is too much of a risk and he may not beat Devin Haney, then that's a different story. That explains why he rejected the fight with Devin Haney, which is ironic because Shakur Stevenson is the same guy who said that everyone wants to be Money Mayweather. However, no one wants to be Pretty Boy Floyd. You have to be Pretty Boy before you end up becoming Money Mayweather. You have to sacrifice. Floyd Mayweather had to sacrifice for a whole decade. He fought the best as the boogeyman for a whole decade in order to get to that Money Mayweather stage. Do you guys know when Floyd Mayweather was pretty boy? After he was pound for pound number one, he fought Gotti as the B-side where he sold more than 300K on pay-per-view. Then he moved on to fight Zab Judah on pay-per-view where he also sold another 300 plus on pay-per-view. Then Floyd Mayweather fought Baldemir, where he ended up selling 400 to 500K on pay-per-view. Even then, even after Floyd was pound for pound number one for years, after beating the likes of Corrales, Gotti, Zab Judah, Baldemir, and the list goes on and on and on. Floyd ended up fighting Oscar De La Hoya where he had to take a 70 to 30 split in favor of Oscar De La Hoya, not Floyd Mayweather, which at that time Oscar De La Hoya was at the end of his career. However, Floyd Mayweather did everything Oscar De La Hoya wanted him to do, from wearing the bigger gloves to fighting at a bigger division, moving up in weight to 154, from having the bigger percentage so on and so forth. Floyd Mayweather didn't care. He just wanted the opportunity. He knew after the Oscar De La Hoya fight, he will become the A-side. So Floyd Mayweather sacrificed against Gotti, against Oscar De La Hoya, so on and so forth, in order to become Money Mayweather. So when Shakur recognized that about Floyd Mayweather, it's surprising to me that he's not willing to walk in them same shoes in the same footsteps that Floyd Mayweather walked in. Devin Haney is willing to do that. Devin Haney did that against Combosis, but clearly Shakur is not willing to do what Devin Haney and Floyd Mayweather did, which at the end of the day, or at least the night, if Shakur is not willing to sacrifice like they did, then that's the wrong decision to make. If he truly believes he could win the fight. However, if he doesn't believe he could beat Devin Haney, then that's a different story which explains why he rejected the fight. With that being stated, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and to be continue on the next episode of Ahi TV. Peace out. Let's just say that Haney wins the fight against Loma, and um, let's say Tank wins his fight against Ryan Garcia. Um, what, I guess, which side would you rather go? Um, if he fights Devin and he wins, he wins all of the belts. If he fights Tank and he beats him, he doesn't win any of the belts, but his star power goes through the roof, man. Which one is, I guess, more appealing? I mean, it don't really matter with us. You know, I, I think both of those guys are just about equally special. So, you know what I mean? Our stock rises you know, being uh, victorious with either one, so. Do you think your stock would rise the same amount if you bought, if you fought a Devin as opposed to um, actually beating Tank? Yeah, I don't think it's that big of a difference. I mean, <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> we just look forward to it, man. I, I gotta ask you, why exactly do you think it's not really that big of a difference? Tank is arguably top two biggest stars in the, in the game right now, top two or three? Yeah, I mean, you can say that about Tank, and you can also say Devin got all those belts. You know what I mean? You can, it's like six and a half a dozen, so, you know, but we all have our own opinions.